Kumusta students? Hope you're doing well this time. This is me again, Sir Ariel, and you're watching another episode of Think Agham. Dahil sa bawat likha, may agham na magpapamangha. Today, we will talk about Earth. At dahil dyan, mayroon akong inihandang tatlong katanungan. Una, ano nga ba ang sikretong tinatago ng ating planeta? Dalawa, bakit nga ba may fenomena gaya ng lindol? Tatlo at ang huli, ano kaya ang mga agham sa likod nito? Bago natin sagutin ang mga tanong na iyan, balikan muna natin ang inyong pinag-aralan sa agham noong kayo ay nasa grade 8 pa lamang. Natatandaan nyo pa ba kung anong aparatus ang nasa larawan? Tama! Yan ay halimbawa ng seismic station. Sa pamamagitan ng seismograph na nasa loob niyan, malalaman o mamamonitor ang mga pagdating o naranasan na lindol, tsunami, o kaya naman ay volcanic eruption. Here in the country, Philippine Institute of Seismology and Volcanology o mas kilala sa tawag na FIBOX. This is the national agency which provides information in these activities. Tatikin mo nga ang iyong balikat kung nasagutan mo ng tama ang tanong na yan. It means only that you still remember your previous lesson. So, handa ka na ba sa ating panibagong paksa? Ito ang mga bagay na dapat niyong malaman, magawa, o may sa buhay pagkatapos mapanood ang video clip na ito. I-pause nyo muna yan at basahin ang mga ito isa-isa. Alright, Mr. and Miss, ang pagbasa mo ng mga yan ay hudyat na handa ka na talagang matuto sa ating panibagong lesson sa agham. Naranasan nyo na ba magpakulo ng itlog? Mahusay. Di ka lang basta masipag na estudyante, bagkus mas makakarlate ka sa ating mapag-uusapan. At the moment na niluluto mo ang boiled egg, may instances na during cooking ay nababasag. Tama ba? Good. Tignan ang larawan. Meron tayong buo na egg at basag or piece of crack eggshells. Let's picture them as representation of earth. The whole egg or the whole eggshells picture our planet, both lands and oceans. The outer portion of it is what we call crust. Again, the Earth's crust is where we are situated o nakatira. Samantalang, ang crack or pieces of eggshell, they picture or it pictures naman ang tectonic plates. Again, you will recognize tectonic plates by simply distinguishing red borders. The edgy part here represents the crack shells. At the same time, the red border which set divisions and formation naman to visual tectonic plates are what we call na plate boundaries. Again, so, nakuha nyo ba class? Ang galing, no? We can easily refer typical dishes like yung niluluto mong boiled egg to something interesting. Ag amazing! Ngayon naman, let's take a deep view of what we are discussing using the boiled egg. Check nga natin kung nag-gets talaga. The shell represents what again? Good! It is the Earth's crust. Tignan ang diagram kung saan siya makikita. Going in our boiled egg, we have the cooked egg white. Let's name that as mantle. Again, I want you to look on the diagram. That's the below portion of crust. A semi-solid, rocky and very hot layer which makes up 80% of our planet. Siguro naman lahat ay nakapagbalat na ng boiled egg, no? 
Did you notice white layer na sumasama sa eggshell habang ginagawa yun? Alright, let's name it as asthenosphere. Again, it is a soft, weak, and plastic layer between uppermost part of mantle and crust, the orange color in our diagram. This facilitates the movement of tectonic plates and with this, a plate can move in a rate of 1 to 2 inches or if we convert it in centimeter, that's around 3 to 5 per year. Yes, annually yun. Along its movement, kasama ang geologic activities gaya ng tsunami, lindol, and volcanic eruption. Oh ha? Another ag amazing. Kaya pala may mga phenomena na ganyan. We are done with the two major layers of Earth. Ano nga ulit yung dalawang yun? Good. The crust and mantle. The crust and the uppermost part of it, ng mantle, comprise the lithosphere. Historically, it comes from the Greek words lito and spira, which means stone and ball, an exact resemblance of earth. Ito ay ang layer na lumulutang sa ibabaw ng asthenosphere kung saan it divides tectonic plates on earth. In some books, it is called as lithospheric plates. Again, it is a massive, irregular shape of slab of rocks, which is generally composed of both continental and oceanic lithosphere. The largest part of it ay makikita sa Pacific and Antarctic plate. Ang lithosphere ay nahati sa dalawang klase. We have continental and oceanic lithosphere. To have an overview of that, Pag sinabi natin continental, it refers to continent, a land exposed masses. And when we say naman oceanic, it is lying on the ocean floor. Pero ano nga ba ang pinaka deep na pagkakaiba nung dalawa? Well, iisa isahin natin yan. Continental lithosphere in terms of its age ay mas matanda compared to oceanic lithosphere. Bakit? Dahil according to our geologists, base sa resulta ng radio dating techniques na sinagawa nila, base sa carbon presence ng rock composition ng dalawang lithospheres, Nalaman nila na ang edad ng continental lithosphere ay nasa around 4 billion years. On the other hand, ang oceanic naman ay naglalaro sa numbers na 260 million years. That's the far or that's the difference between their ages. Dumako naman tayo sa kapal ng dalawang lithospheres. Mas makapal ang continental compared to oceanic. Ang continental ay nasa around 25 to 70 kilometers, while oceanic naman ay nasa 7 to 10 kilometers lamang. Despite of that fact, mas mabigat pa rin ang oceanic compared to continental. Bakit? Dahil ang rock composition ng oceanic ay basalt. Na ang density ay nasa around 3.0 gram per cubic meter. Samantalang ang continental naman ay nasa around 2.7 gram cubic meter. Because of its granite rock composition. Kaya nga makikita sa larawan na ang oceanic ay nasa ilalim at ang continental naman ay nasa ibabaw. Balikan natin ang crack shells. It represents what again? 
lovely. Yan ay ang representation ng tectonic plates, the smaller section of lithosphere. As you see here sa illustration, we have the map of Earth with plates and also the grid marks are the plate boundary section. Makikita nyo dyan ang chunk of plates, malaki and maliliit. Those big plates are so-called primary plates. Here we have seven. The Eurasian, North American, Australian, African, Antarctic, South American, and largest of them all, the Pacific Plate. It lies in the boundary of West Coast ng North America to the East Coast of Japan and Indonesia. Itong primary plates na ito ay associated kay continents. That's why it is called as primary because these are big chunks of plates. On the other hand, we have the smaller plates. They are called as secondary. To name a few, we have here Arabian, Indian, Philippine, and Nazca. The edge part of each tectonic plate here, the plate boundaries, the red marks in our illustration, sa mga parte na yan, karaniwan and kadalasan nagkakaroon ng seismic activities like lindol, tsunami, formation ng mga bundok, and pagputok ng vulkan. These geologic activities happen in same location as the plate moves. They are most active in Pacific Plate. Kaya nga binigyan ng titulo ang Pacific Plate as Pacific Ring of Fire because most of these seismic activities is, I mean, are occurring there. Doon karaniwan nagaganap. And our country is one of the countries na nakakaranas ng mga ito. And one of them is the big one. Isa sa inaasahang seismic activity na magiging malaking sakuna sa ating bansa. The, it also one of the biggest fears ng mga taga National Capital Region and its neighboring provinces. Sinasabi ng Freebox na at any point dahil hinog na ang Marikina Valley Fault ay makakaranas ang mga lugar na ito ng 7.2 magnitude na lindol na napreprodict nila na susundan ng tsunami. But there's a place in the country na hindi nakakaranas ng lindol and that is the island of Palawan. Why? Dahil sa island na ito ay walang matatagpuan na active fault, active volcano, and even deep trenches na pinagmumulan ng tindol. Alamin na natin this time kung naunawaan mo ba talaga ang ating pinag-uusapan. Let's go! I prepare here five questions to answer and you only have three seconds to respond. If you got 4 or perfect score sa aking mga tanong, that means handa ka nang sumagot ng iyong module. For our first question, it makes up the lithosphere. Fantastic! Ang lithosphere ay composed ng crust at uppermost part ng mantle. Now goes the second question. Differentiate the rock composition of continental and oceanic lithosphere. Very nice! Ang rock composition ng continental lithosphere ay granite. Samantalang, ang oceanic naman ay basalt. Now, third question. The soft, weak, and plastic-like layer that facilitates the movement of lithospheric plates. Lovely. It is the asthenosphere. Now, we go naman sa fourth question. 
our second to the last question. Philippine plate, is it primary or secondary? Exactly. Philippine plate is a secondary plate. And now goes with our last question. Are volcanic eruptions part of seismic activity? Yes! Ang volcanic eruption ay kabilang sa seismic activity or in other books they call it as geologic activities. Ikaw ba ay nakakuha ng 4 or perfect score? Very good! Hinusayan mo talaga sa pagkikinig at sinamahan mo din ng paghimay-himay sa bawat detalye. Kung nakakuha ka naman ng 3 or mas mababa pa ng score, Balikan mo yung mga na mismong questions. In that way, lalo mong maiintindihan yung mga konsepto sa bawat tanong na yun. At yan nga ang sikreto ng ating planeta kung bakit may fenomena gaya ng lindol. May mga responsabling agham pala sa likod ng mga fenomena na yan. Yan ay dahil sa tectonic plates. Hope na busog kayo sa mga detalyeng binahagi ko sa Think Agham episode na ito. Thanks for watching this episode. Bye for now and see you on my next virtual discussion.